You know it as the country that was invaded by Saddam Hussein in 1990. The whole world mobilizing to free what was previously an independent and virtually unknown Arab nation from the clutches of an invading tyrant. But what do you really know about Kuwait? How and when did the state come into existence? And what are the historic events and eras that shaped this nation into the modern country it is today? Here are the 20 events that have shaped Kuwait into what it is today. Number 1. The establishment of a small village called Al Grain by several nomadic and fishermen tribes from various parts of the Arabian Peninsula. A nation is born. Number 2. The political endorsement of the As Sabah clan as Kuwait's ruling family putting in place the foundations for governance over the next three centuries. Number 3. During the reign of its ruler, Mubarak al Kabir, achieving British protectorate status and fortunately for the nation, betting on the future victors of World War I and not the Ottoman Empire. Number 4. The Sykes Pico Agreement and its immediate adverse consequences on stability and peace in the region at the time and for many generations to come. Number 5. The Battle of Jahra, where Kuwaiti defenders overcame the odds and maintained the nation's autonomy, thus avoiding assimilation into the Saudi state. Number 6. The El Uqair Protocol, led by the British in collaboration with the Saudis, resulted in the appropriation of two thirds of Kuwait's territories. Number 7. The discovery of petroleum takes Kuwait from a poor nation in recession towards a sudden financial boom and a position of affluence. Number 8. The day of a Nekba and the sympathetic accommodation of the Palestinian diaspora. Consequently, human capital skyrockets in Kuwait to unexpected and unforeseen heights. Number 9. The establishment of the Kuwaiti Sovereign Lands Act, granting the government full autonomy on all Kuwait's land but for 5% of the country's total area. Number 10. Independence from Great Britain is enacted, subject to the enforcement of the democratic rule demands on the emerging nation. Number 11. Kuwait's constitution is ratified, and an idealistic implementation of the democratic experiment as an independent nation begins. Number 12. Although not a single event, but the golden age of Kuwait is a highlight for the country when leaps and bounds were achieved across all aspects of a nation's development, creating a feeling of national joy, pride, and prosperity. Number 13. The nationalization of the oil industry away from the British American control and the moment when the future and wealth of the nation rests fully onto its shoulders. Number 14. The Islamic Revolution in Iran and the responding tsunami of religious politicized conservatism halting decades of modern progress and momentum. Number 15. The Iran-Iraq War erupts bringing chaos and uncertainty to the region and redirects substantial development funding away from the growth of a nation. Number 16. Souq al manakh Kuwait's stock exchange, crashes, leading to selective, expensive, and crippling default bailouts, resulting in a loss of economic confidence and ability. Number 17. The Iraqi invasion of Kuwait, simply the loss of a nation, from privileged citizens Kuwaitis become countryless refugees. Number 18. The liberation of Kuwait. With the return of the nation comes a paradigm shift in the population's psyche, from patriotism and production to individualism and consumption. Number 19. Exodus and eviction of the Palestinian diaspora and the degradation of human capital and when education, healthcare and governmental performance steeply decline. Number 20. The invasion of Iraq. A hope for peace, a new stability, and consequential prosperity for all was the goal, but what ensues is chaos and the loss of a counterbalancing regional military power. Today, Kuwait has been and is on a downward trend. The Global Index for Prosperity has shown that freedoms are diminishing and in parallel, institutional decay is abundant in the education, healthcare, and judicial sectors. Legislation for democratic reform, land release programs, and institutional and entrepreneurial growth into new market sectors are all comatose, burdened by a political scene that is growingly confrontational and self-absorbed. Changes need to happen, but so far, not many have taken place, even with the conviction that Kuwait, the nation, is in a state of emergency.
If you have any thoughts about an event that might have been missed in this list, then please do propose them in the comments section. You never know, you might have a more valuable and relevant event to add.